Okay, hello, welcome, hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I am, it's still a little chilly, that's why I have the hoodie on, it's, it's still a little chilly outside, it's uh, late, late March, or, um, getting close to April, and um, it's still a little chilly in the morning, it's going to be like 70 this afternoon, but it's still a little chilly in the mornings, so, got to have the hoodie. Anyways, what we're going to work on today is something a little different. We haven't, we've worked on HDRs, and I don't know if we've worked on panoramic photos, but we're going to do a um, HD, HDR panoramic image. So basically, it takes both principles of this uh, type of photography and puts them together. So you take, per, well, I take one shot or at one scene, five images, scooted over five images, scooted over five images, and then inside of Photoshop or Lightroom, merge them together to create your um, panoramic HDR. Now, we're gonna set the mood here today. So this is Gloss Mountain, where I took this image that we're gonna work on. It is out by the Little Sahara, it's just kind of south of there. Uh, it's off of Highway 412, as you can see here. And let me tell you, I want to I show you one thing before we get started. This little trail, okay, this is the parking lot that you can come off of. This is the top, and you can kind of walk around and take photos and that kind of thing. This is the stairs that, that you got to take to get up to the mountain. Now, this is a not a 3D representation. And let me tell you, it's not fat boy friendly. Like you get to the top, I was a oh man, thought I was dying, but I recovered. I recovered. We're okay. Almost thought I had a heart attack, but we're good. We're good. And so, anyways, once you make it to the top of the stairs, and it's not that it's it's far. It's just they're really steep, <clears throat> and they're it's kind of a one way deal. So you have to kind of give you know make way for people. They're they're kind of narrow. So you, and you definitely need to be uh, careful. I wouldn't recommend going up it if it was rainy or if they were wet. They are old metal stairs in some places, and um, they could be rather slick. So, anyways, PSA: just be careful and take your time. But you can do it, and it's an awesome view. I really enjoyed it, and you can walk around pretty much this whole thing and go all the way out here. If you want to now, there's a couple old dairy old stuff out here, but and so I didn't really go that far. Uh, I just I came up here to the top, uh, came over to this one side, and then and took some photos from over here, and that's what we're working on today. So I went ahead and took the the images that we're going to work with, and went ahead and merged them into. Uh, the HDR pano here so you could kind of see and you didn't have to watch and go all through that but um, basically all you do is you highlight all your images and you tell it to merge or photo merge when you right click on the image photo merge merge into HDR panel and it does it all for you so we're going to go ahead and merge these together and you see I've done one before so that it is creating the image right there. So it's going to take it just a hot minute. And um, yeah, once it gets done, we will be right back. Okay, so we're back. That took a little bit, but that's okay. So let's take a look at what we've got. And I think this is the one um, that we've been working on because it's, uh, yeah. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's open this up. As you can see, it, it stitches it together. So your crop is not gonna be perfect. What you can do um, 
it kind of depends on what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my crop tool here. Um, and we're going to crop out all the little crazy jagged, just, a, just enough to, you know, make sure we don't have any white spots here. Let's bring it up. And then, oh, um, about right there. So you can, you know, do the crop and leave it. Now, if you have any white, you know, spots for where the crop, you know, didn't cover, you can use the, you can use the uh, spot remover or you can take it into Photoshop clean those right up. Um, also, I need to change the angle of this. So you can use this little ruler tool and that'll rotate it and make it straight. And we'll close that. That's that's pretty good. So HDR pano, done. Now you can kind of go in and you know do any of the settings that you want to change. Uh, you can do the tunnel curve. You can do all of this stuff just like a normal photo. It's just going to be much bigger, but you're also going to have more data to play with, with it being an HDR and a panorama. I, I love these things. I love shooting these things. I always, If I have a nice, vast area, I try to do uh, an HDR or at least a, just a regular panorama. Um, and then sometimes, like I said here, We'll do both, and we'll get a really cool image. Something that not a lot of people do. I don't see a whole lot. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I really like it. really enjoy this type of photography. I think it captures the, the scene the best. Um, and then with a little bit of editing, you can really make a piece of artwork. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video today to kind of show you this. This is, this is the way to do it inside of Lightroom. You can also do this inside of Photoshop. Um, and works pretty much the same way. It just kind of depends on what application you are familiar with and comfortable with. Me, I'm more familiar with and more comfortable with Lightroom. Uh, Photoshop is great, but I, I work in Lightroom a whole lot more than I do Photoshop. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you all later.